Hi everyone, it's Raleigh. Today I'm doing a review of the Play-Doh Campfire Picnic Set. I picked this up at Walmart. It did have a Walmart exclusive sticker on it, and I can't remember the exact price. I do know for sure it was under $20, though. It might even have been around $15. But I thought this looked like a really neat themed set. So I'm gonna open it up and I will be right back. Here we are, look at all the cool things that you get in this set. I love all the molds and accessories, so let's have a closer look. So you get this frying pan, and then it's got molds for steak and eggs and bacon, which is pretty neat. And then you get a bunch of cool utensils, you get a little flipper, it looks like a kind of pizza cutter almost. Uh, you get this little plate with a knife and a fork. And this is probably one of my favorite bits. Two little, looks like little um, sticks that you would roast marshmallows on. You get a mold to make bread for your sandwiches. And a couple other pieces as well. And that's what's kind of neat about this set. It's campfire stuff, but also picnic stuff. And then a neat little variety of some fruits. You got watermelon and bananas. And it does come with um, five different kinds of Play-Doh too. Oh, and you get this extruder and then also this green piece that I think you can use if you're rolling stuff out. There's the extruder bit. And squeeze things out and then the five different kinds of Play-Doh. So they're um, white, orange, a reddish, yellow, and then a brown. And even, even comes with these cool little stones that we'll put on here and it looks like there's mold in those as well. So we'll be sure and try those out too. And then, of course, the top piece here is your wood to go on the little campfire. I just think this is so cool. Oh, and don't forget the play mat, too. Okay, let's go ahead and make some things. All right, I moved everything a little bit closer for us. So the first thing I'm going to do is the fire. And that came out really, really neat. I love mixing the colors together. I'll give you a bit of a closer look here. Oh, and you can see around the stones are little molds of bugs <laughs> that you can make, which is kind of appropriate when you're outdoor camping. So let's go ahead and do a couple of the little bugs. Here we are, here's my, it's my second creepy crawly. The first one's up in the corner. This, this one here is a snail. It might be a little hard to see, but they've got snails and ants and all kinds of neat little things. We'll put our little snail on the rock and it's time to get cooking. I really wanna try a couple of the molds on the frying pan. I'm gonna try the bacon and eggs. And we'll start with the egg. We'll get some yellow for the yolk and then we'll add in some white. And I hope you guys can see the kind of play mat that it comes with is really neat. It's like a little beach with the tent there and then you're by the water. Okay, let's get the, okay, needed a little bit more. Let's see how this works. Hopefully it'll be a little better than the way my eggs usually, fried eggs usually turn out. Okay, let's see. Oh, nice. Oh, I think that came out great. Very cool. Okay, I'm going to make some bacon to go with it. Here we are. So I did, that's my first strip of bacon. And, oh, there's one that I made earlier too. I think that those came out pretty well. I'll have to try the steak one next time. So we'll put our egg and a couple strips of bacon in the frying pan and there's a little flipper that goes with it. And next I'm gonna make a sandwich. I'm gonna get started, I will be right back. Here we are, so I made a sandwich. I decided to use the brown on the edges for the crust and then the white in the middle. I'm gonna cut this in half. 
And, and you see on the knife, there's little um, bumps on the one side. <clears throat> so like I said, almost everything this comes with can be used to do sculpting. Let's put some bacon on here. And I think with our sandwich, maybe we'll make a little, we'll use one of the fruit ones too. Uh, no, okay, we'll close the sandwich. And I think we'll make, maybe we'll try the watermelon mold and see how that turns out. Here we go, so I put the red in the mold, and there we go, a nice piece of watermelon, which is a perfect picnic food. <laughs> we'll put our plate to the side. I wanna try one of the molds in the rock, so a couple of them have molds. This one I think is the hot dog one. So I'm gonna go ahead and use it, I'll be right back. Here we go, so I made the hot dog. I actually just used half the mold, and then I used the base for the bread, but I really wanna try this out. This is the little extruder, I put the yellow in there, and. This can be our mustard. Haha, <laughs> cool. Cute little hot dog, not bad for my first attempt. <laughs> you know what? I just realized there's mold under the plate. I got so excited about making my sandwich and my hot dog. I forgot there's mold, I think, for the potato chip and the cookie. So let me go ahead and make these ones as well. There we go, so there's my little cookie I made. So I put some red in there. Hot dog, watermelon, and here's my potato chip. There we go, that would be a pretty good meal, even after a busy day being outside camping. Okay, and we definitely have to do the marshmallow. We can't have a campfire without roasting marshmallows. So let's turn this around so we can use the marshmallow mold. I'm gonna grab some white Play-Doh. Oh, it might need a little bit more. And you could even put probably some of the brown on one end if you want to make it look like a roasted marshmallow. Let's see? Cool, that really does look like a cute little marshmallow. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of a Yummy World marshmallow. All right, let's get it on the stick here. Just like we would if we had a campfire. And we'll put it right there. And while we're at it, why don't we do a hot dog as well? I put one on the bun, but why don't we, we can use the second one to roast over the fire as well. We'll pop this, the red in here. Yeah, when I did the first hot dog, I just used the half mold, but I think for this one, we'll use the whole one. That way it'll fit on the stick a little better. Okay, a little bit more, there we go, let's see. Neat. <laughs> okay, we'll put him on our second stick. And this looks like a pretty good camping piece that we've got. Neat. Oh, that's so cute. All right, there we go. And I couldn't resist <laughs> doing the bananas. <laughs> One last piece. Well, I think this set really is fantastic. It's great value for the money. The pieces that it comes with are fantastic. There's a great assortment of tools. Uh, and I think that it would be fun to play with more than once. I think there's enough going on here. I think it would be great for a sleepover or to take camping in case maybe it starts to rain. You could play in the tent. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a comment and let me know. See you soon.